Today's quick fishing video is going to be teaching you how to set up a rod for sockeye salmon. So you can use a fly rod, spinning rod, bait caster, doesn't really matter. Uh, I personally prefer 40 pound monofilament. Some people like a little heavier, some people like lighter. There's really no reason to go lighter though because these fish are not line shy. Um, and that heavier line will let you pull your, snap, your gear out of any snags you might have. So starting from your main line, you're going to go to a three-way swivel with a dew lock on it right here and you're going to have your little sinker you can use a cannonball or a dipsy or any other kind of sinker with a loop on it or an eye um, following your three-way swivel you're going to have your leader which is going to be that 30 or 40 pound mono um, leader length of anywhere between four feet to eight feet depending where you're fishing um, on those shallow gravel bars that are so commonly fished on the Kenai a longer leader is definitely better because you can cover more water and at the end of that leader, you're just gonna put your hook. Um, many places on the Kenai River and the Russian River, you need to use a Russian River legal fly or a hook with a 3 8 inch gap, so small gap. Other places on the Kenai, you can use just any hook you like. I like a two or a three-aught hook. Um, you do not need to use a bead or a piece of yarn. If you look in the fishing regulations, underneath the definition of fly, a plain hook qualifies as a fly. All you need is a plain hook. But if you're gonna be fishing in an area like the Russian or the upper, you do need to use a Russian river legal hook or fly, which is that 3 8 inch gap between the shank and the tip of your hook. Um, I'll make another video about how to actually fish, but for now, that's your setup. That's all you need.